Art Pupils Art Summit. with the city and the community leaders like you. I think all together we've made this real fundamental difference in Toronto Parks. Um, and this is the place to be to, to learn about parks and keep that momentum going. Uh, we've got really great things happening in Toronto Parks. There's this real positive energy and vibe in the city right now. Um, if this is your first summit, uh, welcome to the parks movement and welcome to the largest gathering of park lovers in Canada. exciting day ahead of you. We've got our keynote, David escobar Lango. Uh, he'll take some questions from you, then uh, we're going to take a break, and then uh, we've got our, uh, our fantastic cage of dance coming, then your community showcase, park social, and the tour, so it's just going to be a fantastic day of parks. And uh, if you see that Twitter hashtag there, uh, ParkTO, uh, get out there on Twitter and uh, tweet about great things happening in our parks. I want to start off with some thank yous. Um, thank you so much to our sponsors, that's TD Bank, Mitchell Cohen and Janice Lewis, Cage of Dance, MEC, Artspace, City of Toronto, Gustav Lawrence and Vita Wines, Vita Wines, <laughs> and Bose Beer. Uh, thank you so much to all our volunteers. You see them in the green shirts around. They've done fantastic work pulling this together. Great park people staff have been working on this for a while. We have many park people board members here. Can you wave? Thank you, Park People Board members. You provide great leadership to our organization and you're a backbone of the great work we do. We have some uh, really good councillors here. I think I remember, I saw this councillor Fragadakis there. You want to stand up, please? Uh, councillor McMahon, I saw somewhere. I think that we've got a few other councillors that are supposed to be here later on, so I'll introduce them as they come in. But uh, thank you for the work you do with City Hall standing up for parks. I know there was some extra new money that got put in the park budgets this year. Way to go. Good work for you guys. I um, want to give uh, a thank you to um, uh, the people who've really been helping out park people. So there's many of these people in this room that have played an important part in park people by becoming these park heroes and donating to our organization. Um, by giving even a small monthly contribution, you can become a park hero and make it possible for park people to dream even bigger what we can do in this city. Uh, thank you to those in the room that are already signed up to be park heroes. And during the day, you're going to be seeing Jamie, our flying park hero over there, the mass crusader. Uh, and you can sign up to be a park hero over there at the park people table. Um, I also want to thank all of you. So um, there's so many of you that are involved in your parks, you care about parks. You're making a difference in your communities. Um, you're making this the, the great city it is to live. And thank you so much for, for caring about your parks, caring about community, and all the great work that you do. This slide's not there. So this is how we wing it. Um, so <laughs> this is the most important thank you I wanted to do. So um, this is a thank you to the city park staff. So uh, who's here from the city park staff and conservation authority? Wow, great turnout, fantastic. Um, thank you for, for giving up your Saturday. Um, you're working in our parks day and night. You're there on the weekends. Uh, you love our parks just as much as we do, many times even way more. Um, and we really do appreciate all the work and devotion that you're bringing to the parks. And I want to thank you fundamentally for being such great partners and you're such a part of what our parks movement and making this difference in the city of Toronto. Thank you so much. And you just have to imagine there's this beautiful slide of the park workers doing fantastic things and how people doing these things. Um, so what do we mean when we talk about uh, parks at the heart of neighborhoods? Um, you're going to hear some great uh, speakers today talking about putting parks at the heart of neighborhoods. Oh, but 
you know, what do we mean by that? So at Park People, we say when communities get involved, parks get better. Um, and as you're going to hear today, there's two fundamental things that you need to, to make this happen, to get parks at the hearts of the neighborhoods. One is to have a great city government that works with community and wants to involve community in their parks, and we have that here in Toronto. It's super important. And it also takes great people like yourselves who are giving up your time and effort and bringing your energy um, to improve parks and making the parks the heart of the neighborhoods. Um, so who's involved in a, in a park friends group here? Great. Uh, who wants to start one or get involved in one? Come on, you want one of these? <laughs> Great. Well, you're, you're really at the, the, the place to be, and as people like yourselves, you are making parks at the hearts of our neighborhoods. Um, we had this fabulous lunch just before we got started here with people who were involved in the TD Park Builders program. We were doing you know, great work around the city, and Carolyn Scotchmer from TD Bank was speaking to them. And TD Bank and TD Friends of the Environment give out grants for, for park groups from right across the country. And she said that um, Toronto is the place where there's all this exciting community work that's happening with the city and community working together to make this kind of innovative um, difference in our parks. And so Toronto is the city you want to be about parks, and that means a lot. Um, and to make this difference in our neighborhoods. Park people's here to help. Um, <laughs> we are. We, 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 we always get there. We always get to the point. Um, so we're here to help you. So we've got um, these great toolkits. We've got the fantastic TD Park Builder program that provides Kickstart uh, grants in underserviced neighborhoods. And we've got training sessions like our park forums. We've got great new programs coming up too. So um, we've got a fabulous partnership with the Toronto Arts Council called Arts Near Parks. And this is where we're partnering to deliver um, great arts programming. So that's dance, music, theater. Uh, it's the kind of program that you're going to be seeing later on with Cage of Dance that can uh, bring this kind of programming into parks outside of our downtown um, and really making some fun things happen. Um, We've got uh, some new, great new tools on our work website that you can check out in the, the social after this um, to really help you connect with people in your neighborhood, get more people involved in your park. Um, and Park People's going to have a really exciting new summer movie program this summer. Uh, stay tuned for details. And we've got great partnerships. Um, this is like the Western Family Parks Challenge, that it's a partnership between the W. Garfield Western Foundation, Ontario Trillion Foundation, and Park People. It's provided more than $3 million to support over 25 innovative park projects right across the city. That's projects like NKG, who you're going to be hearing later on in the community showcase, Black Creek Community Farm, the largest farm in Toronto, High Park Nature's new nature center, um, and we've got some exciting new projects we're going to be announcing in that as well shortly. What's all this adding up to? Um, and the slide works is great. Um, so that, uh, in, you know, I really do think that it's all adding up to this, this great renaissance in our parks in Toronto. I really do think that between park people, great city staff, good councillors, people like yourselves who've been carrying our parks, we've really been, been making a, a real difference in Toronto. Um, and, uh, you know, we've got projects like the um, Scarborough Butterfly Trail out of Scarborough that's being supported by the Western Family Parks Challenge. That's turning 120 acres of neglected uh, hydrocorder space into these beautiful butter mine meadows with this um, bike trail going through it. Um, we've got the exciting new undergardener project that is uh, going to turn two kilometers of dead space under the, the Gardener Expressway um, into one of the most dynamic public spaces in the world. Um, and, you know, this is, this is happening because of ideas like um, our Making Connections report, which is pulling in new ways to think about parks, um, but it's also happening because of great commitment by people like Judy Matthews, who is here. She's one of our board members. Judy, do you want to give a quick wave? Quick wave, there you go. So, um, Judy, thank you so much. She's bringing this great leadership and commitment to this project. It's happening because of her. Um, and, and these are the people who are really making a difference in our city and our, in our parks. And, and thank you so much for doing that. Um, any people to sit down before? 
We're good? Great. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, speaking of dedicated funders and, and people really making a difference in our community, um, it is my great pleasure to be uh, introducing Mary Desjardins, the Executive Director of TD Friends of the Parks. Um, she, their TD is today's presenting sponsor. They've been the presenting sponsor, the, the key factor for why there has been a park summit uh, every single time. It's the key reason park people got off the ground was the support of TD Bank. They fundamentally get the importance of parks and public spaces to city, and thank you, TD. And Mary's going to introduce our keynote.